Hello YouTube, Snipe Tripod here. I just received in the mail um, a new hammock. This was sent to me uh, from Jared Baker at Simply Light Designs. He's a hammock maker. Um, apparently his stuff is really light, lightweight. I did, was doing some research. I wanted to get a new hammock here and I stumbled upon uh, Jared's name, actually Simply Light Designs name on the hammock forums and everything I read about these hammocks was was um, top notch so here we go we got one this is a streamliner uh, it's a nine foot hammock it's in, made in multicam and I'm gonna go ahead here and open it up and uh, show it to you guys I'm gonna I'm gonna do a setup video here uh, after I un after I open it up there's a few things I need to do and I want to run through those with you guys and I'll show you the process that I learned um, from reading posts and uh, threads on the hammock forums so here we go we got the bag open it comes in a beautiful multicam stuff sack uh, it's open end, uh, it's got two open ends, one there, one there. This is for running your suspension through, so I'll have one end coming out this end here, and one end coming out this end here. They'll go to the trees, and then I'll just slide this off, and the whole hammock will go up. So, let's open this up and get a better look at it. It's even got, I don't know if you can see that tag there, Simply Light Designs. Awesome. This is very nice quality, Jared. Thank you. And here's the hammock. It's a single layer hammock um, in the multicam uh, 1.9 ripstop fabric, I believe. And I mean, you're not going to get a you're not going to get an idea of how big it is from just from this. But I just wanted you to see the uh, initial unboxing of this thing. That's going to be a beauty to hang in, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, go ahead and uh, grab my uh, hardware for it. Um, basically, it's just two two whoopee slings, uh, two continuous loops, and a con uh, adjustable uh, ridge line for this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll be right back. Sorry. Uh, I was just looking in the package and Jared has been so kind to send me one of his business cards but uh, on the back I don't know if you can see that or not it says enjoy your travels Jared M Baker like he actually took the time to sign this card for me and you know this is great top-notch Jared thank you um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing uh, whipped or not whipped I guess the suspension put onto this and then uh, That'll be that. Okay, so stuff's pretty hard to see uh, uh, against the background here. I'm just doing this on my bed. But um, here I have um, a couple of whoopee slings that I've made. Uh, there's one, one whoopee sling. Um, I think this is the other whoopee sling. Yes, this is one whoopee sling. This is the other whoopee sling right here. <clears throat> what these do is they come out uh, from the ends ends of the hammock, and they go up to the um, the the webbing on the tree, the tree straps. Basically, they wrap around a marlin spike hitch, and uh, I don't know. You guys have seen it before. You've seen my other hammock setups. Um, this is a continuous loop uh, that I made to whip the end of the, ha the the hammock ends together so what you have is on the hammock here you have a channel that's sewn into the ends this gets gathered up like this I guess and this continuous loop will run through this channel and larks head it'll get larks headed uh, onto itself basically uh, like this 
and then that 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 part there right there uh, will be the where the whoopee attaches also what I have here yes yeah, so I have two of these also what I have here is a uh, an adjustable ridge line that I made which is just basically uh, an extra long whoopee sling um, this controls the sag uh, of the hammock so that every time you get into it it's the same um, you see that's my hardware this is all made out of amp steel uh, 7 64ths amp steel blue um, I got this stuff from Dutch I think I think his name is Dutch um, probably about close to a year and a half ago and it's been sitting in my in my drawer uh, waiting for this waiting to be made into stuff like this Interruptions are always good. Hey. So anyway, there's the hardware for this uh, this hammock. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna whip these ends and hopefully take it outside and hang it. So as you can see, you need one end secured. So I've just secured it with an old toothbrush that we had laying around, and I'm just. I've got the other end of the continuously fed through the channel here and I'm just running it through. so it doesn't go back um, through. I'm going to grab my adjustable ridge line and I've got all of these marked. Um, they put beads on them so that they can't pull back they can't pull this can't pull back through this berry here. but I got all the beads marked. Um, the ridge line is marked with an orange bead. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this on to here, just loop that in there, and then that's attached now on that end. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go ahead and pull that tight, and just lark's head. That's just a lark's headed knot now. There's one end of the hammock whipped, just like that. I'm hoping that that is sufficient to hold my weight. But I'm thinking that it should be. So. I'm going to go ahead and do the other end. And we'll be back. Okay, so there's both ends of the hammock are whipped now. I've got the adjustable ridge line going through both ends. 
So I have the head end whoopee sling, which has a red dot on the bead. Red is for head, I guess. That's the way I like to think of it. So uh, in this end, there's a um, fixed eye uh, locked in place by a Brummel, or a locked Brummel, I guess. All of these instructionals for building these I got um, on Ian Young's channel off of YouTube. So here's a shout out to Ian Young. Thank you uh, for your uh, guidance, Ian. And uh, I hope I don't uh, fall on my butt. <laughs> Anyways, this just gets lark he Lark's headed onto the uh, soft shock continuous loop. Just like that. Now that is ready to go to the tree or whatever I'm hanging it from. In this case today it'll be my hammock, my DIY hammock stand. This also before I go out I'll show you I've put the uh, stuff sack on. Basically, actually it's more like a black bishop bag than anything. Um, but anyways it just threads onto the whoopee and the continuous loop. It's got one end open and another end open, so you just stuff. Now I'll just stuff the hammock inside here, and it'll uh, it'll make for easy hanging. There you go. Hammock. Okay, so I'm outside and I've got the hammock all whipped up and uh, the suspension's on it. It's in its stuff sack and it's ready to go up on my hammock stand right there. So without further ado, I'm gonna hang this sucker. Then I'm gonna lay in it and I'm gonna see what it's like. So, as you can see, I need to make a few adjustments, but it's very windy out here too today. Um, if I had my tarp on, that wouldn't be doing that. But, uh, yeah, I'm very impressed with it overall, as, well, as impressed as I could be for right now. I haven't slept in it yet, and 
from the initial initial lay in it I'm very comfortable so again thank you Jared um, thank you to Ian Young who showed me how to make the um, uh, continuous loops whoopee slings and the adjustable bridge line uh, thanks again to everybody on hammock forums that is and yeah look forward to making another video soon so thank you Thank you.